Welcome back to the clubhouse. Listen. Do you hear that? I was listening to one of my favorite kinds of music. Can you guess the name of this sound of music? Listen to the instruments. Saxophone. Piano. Trumpets. This style of music is called jazz. Jazz music always makes me feel good, and sometimes it makes me want to dance. And some of the best music artists this world has ever seen has come from jazz music. People like Duke Ellington, Ray Charles, Ella Fitzgerald, and even Gerald Wilson. You know, sometimes people call Gerald Wilson one of the founding members of jazz music. I think I'd like to share a little bit more about him. Let's take a look at the vision board. Gerald Wilson was born on September 4th, 1918 in Shelby, Mississippi. When he was six years old, his mother started giving him piano lessons. He and his mom moved to Memphis, Tennessee when he was just a bit older, and this is where he heard the sound of big bands on the radio. This was an all new sound for Gerald that he had never heard before, and he decided he wanted to become a band leader. He once said, to tell you the truth, I don't know if I had the talent or not. Maybe I just had the will and that got me in. He wanted to be a band leader so badly that at the age of 11, he purchased his very first trumpet from a Sears store catalog for only $9.95. Around 1934, Gerald and his mother traveled to see the World's Fair in Chicago and this made Gerald want to study music in the North. At the age of 16, he moved to Detroit, Michigan to finish school. In 1939, Gerald joined the Jimmy Lunsford Orchestra, replacing the trumpeter and arranger. While part of this band, he helped create songs such as High Spook and Yard Dog Mazurka. Gerald Wilson formed his very first band in 1944. This band was very popular, and within their first year, they recorded nearly 50 songs and had many national shows to play, but Gerald was not happy with his level of work and he ended that band. During his break from running his own band, he spent time touring with other bands, and during the 1950s and 60s, he spent time arranging and composing music for jazz and pop singers, TV and film, and many other things while also running his own orchestra. He even taught jazz classes at local California colleges, and he even had his own radio show for seven years between 1969 and 1976. His music was very versatile, and oftentimes he would include Spanish or Mexican-themed sounds into his music to show his love for their culture because his wife was Mexican-American. Gerald Wilson had a large family. He and his wife had three daughters and one son, and he had many grandchildren and Gerald's music was often inspired by his family. He was the band leader for many different bands for as long as he lived, and he even helped some of the most popular musicians in the jazz world with their own music. He has been nominated for a Grammy several times and has won four of those times. During his time alive, he released 22 albums in which he was the band leader. Gerald Wilson died on September 8, 2014 at the age of 96, and we really have to give thanks to Gerald for playing a big part in why we have such amazing music today. It always starts with a dream, and just think, Gerald Wilson started with a trumpet at the age of 11. So follow your dreams, and maybe someday you will make your very own music.